Amen. Let's reverence the Word of God. Amen. Everybody get a, give a hand for Brother Jor. Amen. And Jesus as He comes to minister for us. How many loves Jesus? Amen. How many feels good? Amen. You don't feel good, you just ain't good, are you? <laughs> I like feeling good, don't you? Yes. Amen, I do. But I like a God that even when I'm feeling bad, Amen. I know He's done. Amen. Don't you? Yes. I like a God that He's in all hours of night or day, I can call upon Him and He will right answer. There. Amen. He will. Me and Him's got a connection. Amen. And it's by name. Amen. It's not any other way but by name. It is. And I love him. And Lord had a... We studied on something, but uh, we Lord changed it just a little bit ago. And i got to go with God, okay? So I don't know how long it'll be, and I don't know how short it'll be. And I don't know how what it'll do, but keep your feelings in your pocket. Amen. Lord's good. Mine's in here. Amen. Yes, I'm 117. Amen. All right, Matthew 28. And 17. <laughs> Lord's good, ain't he? Yes, sir. Amen. Church, we're living in a good time. Amen. For the church, and we're living in a bad time for the crybabies. Yes. Amen. <laughs> we got crybabies, Buzz. Yep. Amen. Missing out tonight. Missing out when they should be to eat. We need some people that's hungry for the Word of God. For the anointed preached Word of God. That, uh, that they know is a healing them. How many has ever heard that? That He sent His Word to heal you. Yes, come on. Amen. Now if a doctor told you to take that pill 8 o'clock every morning, you'd take it. Yeah. Amen. But you won't come to church to hear the Word of God knowing it's healing you. Come on. Amen. Amen. It's the truth. Preacher. We'll take His flesh and pay baby it and do whatever it wants. Come but on. when it comes to the Spirit, man, we want to lay back. The other morning I woke up, man, I was tired. I laid there and I said, Lord, I'll, I'll pray after. I said, I'll get up and I'll read after a while. He said, no, you won't. Just that play. No, you won't. I lay there and I hit the snooze button. I lay, tried to lay back down again. He said, I said, Lord, I will. I'll, pray. I'll do it this evening. I'll come in enough time. No, you won't. He knows us. Yeah, Better than anybody. You know what I did? I got up out of the bed, went over to my desk, sat down and started reading. Went in there and started praying. He knows us. Yes, Why? Because I did it last week. That's right. Come huh? on. He said, you've been repetitious, son. Get out of bed. Come on. He's our father. Our fathers know. Yeah, he's he he come to me and he told me, no, you won't. Good. He knows me. He, he knows me. That's the reason he could say it so politely, but with authority. That's right. And I heard him. Yes. Laying right there in the bed with a fan on. Amen. It's the truth. <laughs> Loud fan. And I heard Jesus. With that still, small voice. I believe Elijah said one time that it come, there was a mighty wind come through there one time. Wasn't there. A great big fire came through. Thunders and all, all kinds of things. But when he heard it, he said God wasn't in none of that. That's right. He said it was in that still, small yes. voice. Yes. He did. And he let him know, didn't he? Yeah. I've got 7,000. Uh -huh. yeah. I've got 7,000 that ain't bowed a knee and they ain't even kissed him. Praise oh. be to God. We, uh, he's got some out there that ain't a kissing him today and loving on the yeah, devil. Right. He's got God's people today. I love him. But starting in Matthew 28, 17, Lord, you got to do this. You ever been nervous as a cap three tails in a room full of rocking chairs? <laughs> Come on. That's nervous, ain't it? <laughs> now he just gave me that there. <laughs> that was free. And when they saw him, Come on. they worshipped him, Lord. but some doubted. Yeah, hallelujah. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. He said, Stop. Jesus. Come on. Give the Lord a hand clap. I thank you, Lord. I 
I thank you, Jesus, for everything that you've done and going to do. It might be elementary tonight, but I, somebody needs it or he wouldn't have given it to me. That's right. He's Come a on. good God. And he said right there, he said, all power has been given unto me in heaven and in earth. And when he spoke to me over there on the seat, I said, he said, Lord, hey, I said, Lord, what is it? He said, all power. We're serving a God of all power tonight. But the thing that I'm telling you tonight, hey, I, I just see people in my mind. Glory, hallelujah. Lord, help me tonight. But I'm telling you, we've got a God with all power. And to get this God, to get him, I'm telling you, to be to where I'm telling you, where we got access to him, we've got to believe the unbelievable. We've got to know that there is a God that's out there that's able, that's divine, that's absolutely correct in everything that he's doing. And we got to believe and trust in him with all of our heart, soul, mind, and spirit. And love him with everything in us. we got to know that there's all All power. All power. Or the deadhead. Come on. The devil's an old deadhead liar. Dead right. Speaking to our hearts and speaking to our minds and telling us that what we do ain't worth it. What we do is taking somebody else's time. What we do ain't no good. But I've got a God that looked down with all power. And he said, Son, the word that I've given you it is both spirit and life. You can praise me to God. I want to thank that doctors go to work every day. Uh -huh. Knowing that they're helping somebody live a little longer. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I do. Some it may be for the paycheck. But I want to think that there's some going to think about Mandy being a psychiatrist. I think when she goes to work, that she's going in there maybe to help somebody to extend their life, to let them see something in a different way than the way they're seeing it, to take it off through their mind. And today he told us to be transformed by wants us to do. Amen. But it's all power. All power. All power. Yes. Is in this man called Jesus. Amen. He come, he said, all power has been given unto me both in heaven and in earth. If you go anywhere else to get any other power, you're plugging into a blank cord. You're plugging into a fake God. There ain't nothing else out there but Jesus in the name of Jesus that's going to help you in any way. Amen. Yes. Come on. But doubt's got to go. Amen. Yes. So I read it said, and some doubted. Some doubted. Come on. Some doubted. And there was some there on over in Acts. They watched this same Jesus. He was ascended up from the earth. Yes. He took and there was two men there in white apparel. Come on. Standing on him, old boys were standing watching him go outside. And he said, why you men of Galilee stand in your gazing? This same Jesus you see go away is coming back in like manner. Yes. On over in the gospel, sir. He told us, praise be to God. He said, I'm going away, but I'm sending you a comforter. No. You know what he just told you? I'm sending you all power. No. I'm giving you all power. Both in heaven and earth. You can overcome the devil. No. You can overcome Satan's devices. No. You can live a life of holiness no. and pure goodness if you want to. Yes. yes. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. We'll read this with a blank mind. Yes. Lord God, if we get a spirit and see what he's telling us, and know that all power dwells within us, yes. we can walk through our days victorious uh -huh. and help somebody else yes. with life. Yes. With life. Yes. With life. Housewives, you've got power. Yes. Construction workers, you've got power. Pastors, you've got power. Man, oh God, Lord, we got power. Yes. There ain't nothing, praise be to God, that can stop us right. from living holy. Amen. Yes. That's the battle. Yeah. Yes, it is. The battle ain't paying the bills. That's right. The battle's living holy. Yes. Amen. We're doing something yeah. that the devil can't do. Amen. Right here in his domain. <laughs> huh? 
Come on, brother. You ever think about that? His kingdom. We're right here in His kingdom. Yeah. Living holy. Living separate. Yes. Not being the same as the rest of the world. Not talking like the rest of the world. Not dressing like the rest of the world. Not spitting like the rest of the world. We're living, praise be to God, in the way that He said we can't live. We're living in that way. Well, glory. You got to get up in the morning and say, I got all power. You got to go for your day saying, I got all power. When the devil comes around and says, I got all power, throw him under your feet. on everything. Yes. Yes. He told me, use it on everything. Uh-huh. Use it in your marriage. Use it at your job. Yes. Use it on your kids. Yep. Uh-huh. Huh? You walk around and you say, you little devils. Pray it right out of them. <laughs> Pray it right out of them. Lay the hands on them. Pray it right out of them. Amen. They're talking bad and doing things wrong. You ever sit in your own house and be vexed? Oh. Lord God. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Come on, brother. Help us. TV will vex you faster than anything. Amen. Absolutely. It will. Yep. Yep. Stuff on there just not clicking. Lord God, you sit there. God, he got me something good about this. Oh, no, sit out there. You got to find that red button. Yeah. It's the truth, church. Come on. The fight is living holy. Uh-huh. Amen. It ain't easy to be separate. No, it's not. It ain't easy to look different. I know this because of school. School, it's hard on a kid going there looking different. It's hard on me. I didn't have Levi's. I didn't. Got to a point where I could work by my own, but I didn't have Levi's. Come on. I had to wear what mommy and daddy could afford. Second hand. And that was family dollar stuff. I wore it to I don't know if they had faded glory back then, but now faded glory is there. And this, I'll just all different oddball things. I guess what everybody else rejects. But that's what I wore. And I look on, just didn't fit in. Didn't fit in. You know what that led me to? That led me to drugs in school. In school it did. Let me tell you something tonight. We serve a God with all power. Amen. This is a kingdom that you can fit in. Amen. You can fit in. You can fit in. Man, you said we look different. We do. That's from the other kingdom. Amen. Amen. Did right. you hear there's another kingdom? Right. There's another kingdom. And there's a, two different kingdoms. They're going to look different. Amen. They're going to talk different. They're going to walk different. Amen. They're going to go to places different. And there's going to be two different mm-hmm. lords of that kingdom. That's right. The devil is the lord of this world. He is. He's the God of this world, the Bible says. That's right. He's the God of this world. No, we only got one God of everything. The Bible says He's the God of this, this world. Yeah. If you're of the world, He's your God. Amen. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. If you're talking like the world, looking like the world, going to places the world goes and doing things, He's your God. Your God's happy with you. You're pleased with Him. But if you the kingdom of God, if you're in the kingdom of the one true God and His name's Jesus Christ and you're separated, He said for us to be ye separate, saith the Lord. Amen. He said to come out from amongst the world and be ye separate. Come out from amongst the God of the world and come to the one true and living God and serve Him and be separate. And there's one thing that he told us. He said he's given all power, both in heaven and earth. He told him to go teach all nations, didn't he? Baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. I know I didn't, I didn't read it now. He said go baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And praise be to God. You know there's a separation of the world and there's a separation of the church still yet today. But the world's getting churchy and the church is getting worldly and they're trying to mix everything in today. I know Brother West said that a lot. But that's a good Praise be to God. We can't be a mingling with them. Praise be to God. I know they won't mingle with us. They say we're crazy. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. But this all power will cause you to live a separate life. Amen. This will. Yeah. He'll give you power to live holy. He'll give you power to look in the mirror and say, I'm God's man or woman. Amen. I don't have to please the one down there at work. Come on. I gotta please my husband or wife that's in yonder. Yes. He'll take you, have you to wake up every morning and say you're beautiful today. Have confidence in yourself today. 
Uh huh. Lift you. You know what the God of the world wants to do? He wants to knock you down. Uh huh. He wants to paint you up. Yes. He wants to put you in something that's not fit. Praise be to God to go to church in. Come on. Amen. 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 And he wants to put you out on display somewhere and cause you to harden out yourself and be what the kingdom of God don't want you to be. Amen. It's the truth. Amen. But this power, this power will give you power to live holy. Amen. Holy. Yes, it will. Come on. Has anybody realized yet that that's the true battle? Come on. We're doing something in this world. I just got it myself. We're living in a world that don't want to live holy. Amen. Right. That don't want to live for the holy God. He said, be ye holy, for I am holy. Amen. And we're living in a world that don't want to live holy. So it's not a surprise that it's going to be hard on somebody wanting to live separate than the world. But we're in the world. But he said, we're not of the world. Amen. He didn't, I believe who God called, I believe he ordained. I believe he did. I believe, praise be to God, if he called us out to do this or that, that he's ordained it and it's going to be done. I sent Sister Jamie some scriptures the other day and it just lit me up, praise be to yes. God, that he took and ordained us from the beginning of the world to do these doing good works, Brother Larry, yes. to live in these good works. Oh. Joey, I ain't got no reason to say I can't do it. Why? Because I just found out tonight I got all power. Yes. Yes. And I seen the other morning he ordained it from the beginning of yes. the world that I'm going to yes. live Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We've got all power. Yes, we do. Yes. We need to get our minds strong. Yes, we do. We do. Come on. Our minds tell us lies. Yep. That's where the devil's at. Yes, he is. He's standing right in there and he's trying to lie to you. Uh-huh. He's telling you this and don't like you and that and don't like you. Come on. This and didn't text you today, that and didn't I M you or whatever and PM you or whatever today. It's the truth. If anybody ain't been through it, I'll talk to you after church. Come on, amen. That something don't enter your mind, try to enter in. Come on. Come on, Ain't it? That's the truth. Come on. Well, they don't love me no more. Amen. I've been there. You ever been busy? Sometimes you just don't get to it. That's right. That's right. That happens to me. But it's in our mind, church. Yes. We can live holy uh -huh. if we get our mind holy. If we get our mind where it's separate. I said it the other night where your treasure is, your heart will be also. Where your treasure is. All power, both in heaven and in earth. And you know what? Peter preached on the day of Pentecost a separation that is still down through the centuries. Amen. It is a separation that still today is fought against and is told that it's wrong and that it's not right. And we hear it, but we don't hear it enough. He said, Go ye therefore into all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. Peter was standing there that day, and Peter was the one who stood up on the day of Pentecost. Come on! He was the one who stood up and preached the message to all the devout men of every nation that was there. And he told them, Praise, let me read right here. Let me, let me give you a little something. He said, Teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe, listen, observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Come on. Peter, yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Come on. Yeah. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Yes. So you think when Peter got up on the day of Pentecost, he looked around and said, Where are you, Lord? No, Jesus said, I'll be with you, even until the end of the world. And so he stood up on the day of Pentecost, and he preached a message that, praise be to God, told them they killed the very Christ, told them, put them right where they needed to be, that they was the ones lost, they needed a Savior. He came and they killed him. Amen. 
And we're too afraid to preach a holiness message in a holiness church. Come on. Amen. It's the truth. It's the truth. And Peter preached for four thousands. Thousands. Why? He knew he had his all power. He knew he had his all power. Why? Because he heard the word. Amen. He heard the word saying, I'm with you. He heard the word say, when I go away, I'll send you back a comforter. He just come out of the upper room. I'm telling you, speaking in tongues. He just come out and received everything that he needed to stand on that day and tell him. Yep. He said, let the house of Israel surely know that this same Jesus God hath made both Lord and Christ. Yes. Bible says they're pricked in their hearts when they heard that word. When they heard that word. Amen. But we got the denominational world knocking that word out before that word gets in. Amen. And here they was, the, the devout of every nation. But as you know what the devout men was? They was the, like the presidents. They was like the governors. They was the leaders of every nation. Amen. I ain't saying that every person of every nation was there. I'm saying the devout leaders. Jesus told them to observe. Whatsoever I command you. Amen. He said, teach them, tell them to observe it, and whatever I command you. That means they were supposed to go back and teach everybody in their place and do exactly what Peter said on the day of Pentecost. Amen. That was what they're supposed to do. Yes, it was. Yes, come on. I can't help it. It's the word of God. Come on. And it's what they're supposed to do. And they it pricked them in their hearts. They said, This is different. This something's going on. You can just see it. You can feel it. Yeah. And they said, Ben and brother, what must we do? Come on. They asked the question. Come on. Why? They was concerned. If you're concerned about your soul, you'll say, what do I need to do about this attitude? What do I need to do about this lust problem? What do I need to do about this smoking addiction? What do I need to do about this chewing addiction? What do I need to do about this pill addiction? What do I need to do to receive the power, praise be to God, and fail on the day of Pentecost? That glad glory that I've seen Pam delivered from, that I've seen, praise be to God, Ronnie delivered from, that I've seen all these people, praise be to God, I use it because I know, praise be to God, Amen. 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 Come on. But people have been delivered from depression. Yes, sir. Oppression. Come by on. this power yeah. that I'm speaking of today. Yeah, but I'm telling you, this power only comes with separation. Yeah. This power only yeah. comes with dedication. Yeah. This power only comes with sanctification. This power only comes with yeah. praise yeah. God for somebody that's willing yeah. to give their life for the one that laid down his life. That loves you first. All powers are yeah. It's available. Amen. Come on. Amen. Yes. Thank you. He answered the question. He said, repent and be baptized. Every one of you. Come on. He didn't say, Grecians go over here and Titans go over there. I'm just speaking names. I don't know how many of the was. He didn't say this one go here and that one go there. You get baptized this way and you get baptized Come that way. You repent this way and you repent that way. One way. Come on. He preached one way the other night. Well, that kind of preaching. You might not keep your name on a church book, but you'll keep it in a Lamb's book of life. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you. He said, repent. He's looking out over all these devout men. Look here. Come on, brother. I can just see him, son. Yes, sir. All power. Well, if he wasn't standing this high, he felt this high, didn't he? <laughs> he said, all power. Yes, come on. All power, Jesus said, you could have. And Peter said, I got it. He said, repent and be baptized, every one of you. Amen. Every one of you, if they was around him, I believe he went all the way around. Come every on. one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins, yes. and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You can't go to heaven any other way. You can't make it through the pearly gates any other way. If Bobby didn't make it, I'm gonna make it. If Daddy don't make it, I'm gonna make it. Praise be to God, I'm gonna live it holy. I'm gonna be separate by the name of Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. All power. Yes, come on, that's good. Come on. I'm worried I can't quit this. Shut up! Hey, man. Come on. That's the problem with you. Come on. Yeah. Looking at 
mirror. Lord of mercy, amen. I'm afraid I can't live like that. Shut up! Come on! You look up to the author and the finish of your faith. Come on. Can't be crying and bawling, thinking I want nothing. Man, come on, brother. Man, you're living a life now. Ain't very many likes you. It's all right. That's because you got to separate to see who I am so they like me. Huh? Huh? Come on. you got to have eyes for this kind of man. you got to have a heart for this kind of man. This man called Jesus. That's separation. You gotta walk into it. <coughs> he said, repent. Repent. Broken heart. Repent. Uh-huh. Yeah. People ain't repenting. Amen. They get down to cry boo-hoo a little bit. That's it. Over the problem or over what's going on right at the time. Yeah, come Amen. on. Don't repent. Come on. They went down walking this way and they raise up walking this way. Uh, yeah, Let me tell you, a good Holy Ghost service is about like going to the bar. Listen now, if you're lost and just getting drunk for a couple hours and getting that buzz. You ever do that? Yeah, come on. Come on. It, huh? It fades away. A Holy Ghost service will do that to a lost man, make them feel good before they leave her. Amen. Amen. Man, I'm all right. You see me shaking in there? It's the truth. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you know what that old booze will do to you? It'll lie to you. Come on. It will. You know what the devil will do to you? He'll lie to you. That's right. He will. He'll make you think you got everything straightened out. He'll make you do it, but you know what the devil can't do? He can't live holy. You know what you're going to do the next morning? You're going to get up and do the same thing you've done. You're going to talk the same way you talk. You're going to be as hateful as you ever was. There wasn't no change that went on. No change, no Jesus. Amen. It's the truth, Brother Rudy. That's good. That's the truth. Come on, brother. Amen. We're insulting it. When we get down to the altar and wake up the next day the same old man. Amen. And then go out and tell people, well, I got saved last night. Come on. And you know what they're doing? I don't see nothing with you. Amen. You know what you do to a true sinner? You scare him. Buddy, I, when I was in sin, you scared me. You were talking dirty and saying cussing and just standing around. I was raised that you could smoke and do all you about a lot of stuff. But you didn't talk. You didn't say dirty words. You didn't talk dirty. You didn't tell dirty jokes. You sure didn't laugh at them. Amen. But here you are doing all that. Next day. Well, it's a work in progress. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. I believe there's enough power there. It will suck you out so much of that stuff, you'll be amazed yourself. Because Amen. Amen. it's all power. That's right. You know from that day, yes. <laughs> from that day, to this day right now I can stand before you and tell you that there ain't been a cuss word come from these lips. Yeah, come on. Praise the Lord. Even in my dreams I know I'm saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. Come on. Come on. I'm serious. Come on. <coughs> That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, That was for me. There are some people who go, damn, buddy. They're delivered from cigarettes. They're delivered from their pill addiction. They're delivered. I'm telling you, I believe there's enough power. Yeah. Oh, enough power Forget to it. change a man. They're at the altar. Right right. Come on. But you know what the problem is? You're not surrendering. Where's your heart at? Come on. Where's your heart at? He said, if we come to him with a broken heart and a contrite spirit, yes. he said he'd no wise turn us away. You know what happens? 
Brother Joey, they come down. Their heart not on Jesus. It's on their problems. Jesus is there. He said, come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden. You're tired. He said, I want to give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon me. Put his yoke on me. That means he wants to be right there with you. And he said, learn of me. He said, I'm meek and lowly at heart. He said, you're going to find rest for your soul. All power is enough to change you. All power is enough to change you. I don't care what diseases you got. I don't care what sicknesses you got. I don't care what's going on in your life. I believe there's enough power. If you come with a sincere, broken heart and a contrite spirit to change you tonight. Amen. I believe it. Yes. But the thing of it is, I gotta try to convince you to believe it too. Come on. That this God said, I've been given all power, both in heaven and in earth. What did he make us from, Jason? Earth. What Genesis say? Said he took and formed the man out of the dust of the ground, didn't he? Yes. Earth. Earth is out there. Earth is okay. The world's what's bad. The world's what's bad. Come on. Ain't the world the grass? No, that's earth. Earth. Yeah. Come on, man. Ain't the world the moon? Ain't ain't the world the trees? No, that's earth. Come on, amen. This is world. Yeah. The world has corrupted the earth. Come on. Yeah. Come on. So where does that come from? Bonus to your heart. Uh-huh. Corrupts the earth. It's there. The world is in there. And he told us that we can get it out of there. Yeah. Didn't he? Yes. Didn't he say there's a transformation could happen? Uh-huh. Yeah. Didn't he say we could be born of an incorruptible seed by the word of God? Didn't he yes. say that? Yeah. Didn't he say that that word right there is sharper than any two-edged sword? Yes. Two-edged sword sharp. It'll go in, cut, come out and cut. And that's what it does. This is why when we lay out a church, we get numb to some things. We're not hearing the word. Amen. I was coming up the road this evening, I could go thank him for his word. Because his word is what's made me free. All power is in this man called Jesus. Amen. In him. He said, nobody, no one can come unto the Father but through and by him. He said, I lo, I come in the volume of a book. To do thy will. To do thy will, O God. How precious it is to be able to hear the Word of God. How precious it is to know that you have all power, church. All power. They ain't none of us should wake up in the morning and say, I'm defeated. Amen. They ain't none of us should wake up in the morning. I don't care how tired you are, what kind of day you think's got to face it. I know a God can change it before you get there. Amen. Me and Mommy. Back in our younger days, we'd, we'd have to deal with federal welfare system. I ain't got nothing against it. It's good for people that need it. It's feeding a lot of kids, their parents, it's wrong, but it's still feeding them. When you pay any taxes, thank good of it. Because it's helping some babies. That's, I'm telling you, it is. We need to start thinking about that. Man, I've heard people complain, but we got taxes helping babies. That welfare office is still feeding babies. We might think our son won't deserve to eat some of it because it's their parents, but they they, they got a soul. Yeah, but we'd go to that welfare office, and man, I hated going over there. You had to tell them how many rolls of toilet paper seemed like you had, how many sheets you used when you wiped and everything. They wanted to know everything. And buddy, it got to a point there, I said, Lord, and I just started praying about it every time before we go. I know what we needed. The Lord knows what we needed. 
Baby, we get back there in that room, and most of the time you just heard buttons. He'd set somebody right in there. <laughs> just like God kicked them in the bathroom and said, You do this, or I'm going to take your life or something. <laughs> and he'd get everything fixed up. He would. We'd get raised on them food stamps. Huh? We would. We'd sit there and tell the truth about what we made. We'd sit there and tell the truth about everything. And, and we'd go in there sometimes with the attitude, man, we tell them, man, it's over. We're going to jerk ever. We're going to lose 50 at least on them food stamps. But he'd have things fixed up. He would. That's just one, one thing I just shared with you. There's many others. Many others. Come on, brother. That if we pray before we go, God will have somebody, a man or a woman in line. That's the reason I pray, you know, people go to the doctors. I say, Lord, put somebody in that line for them. Put somebody in the line for them. Yes. I don't care if they're a Buddhist. Lord, touch their hands that they don't hurt my brother or sister. Come on. I don't care if they're Muslim or whatever. I know God can touch their hands and not hurt His people. Amen. I believe He can. I want Him guiding the knife if they're using a knife on me. I want Him doing all these things. Amen. Yeah. But listen, we've got all power, church. We got all power, Joey. Yes. But we've got to learn to believe it. Amen. Amen. We're going. I'm, I, I want the lost to know that this is. There's a fountain, buddy, that they can drink of. Yeah. He said, "Come and take of this water of life freely." Mm -hmm. Buddy, let me tell you, if you're going to bed every night worried about hell, if you're getting up every day and worrying about hell, he can take hell out of your category. He can take hell, hell so far out of my category because I'm just getting deeper in Jesus. And the deeper I get in Jesus, the farther hell's going back that way. And if you, I'm telling you, you can get in this man and not worry about the pits and the lake of fire. Amen. You'll not have to worry about opening your eyes in hell. You ever woke up dead? You keep missing church, you will. That's right. Amen. Lord, give right. me that one. Well, tell me. I did it before. You'll wake up dead one morning. Yep. You'll wake up and life will be gone. That's true. Why? Because you're not being fed. Amen. This soul, this spirit man's got to be nurtured. Yes, he does. He's got to be fed. He can't just sit around eating his TV dinners. He's got to be fed by the anointed Word of God. Amen. I'm telling you, I believe He ordained this right here. Amen. I believe He ordained this right here. To be the way we need faith. Yeah. Peter and him wasn't putting Channel 13 broadcasts on going to house to house. Amen. Amen. Was it? Amen. Amen. Come on. They wasn't no Channel 8, 9, 10, 13. No. I believe if there's a, there's a place in your community and there's a place you can go to church, and I believe one day if you die and go up there to meet with him, and he's going to look at you and say, Why didn't you go to church? Amen. I believe that. Well, well Lord. Give me no excuse. Well, Lord, this and done this and that one done that. And, well, I got some word over there, too, for that. We can get that fixed up. Yes. No excuse. No excuse. No excuse, old man. You can stand before God, live the word. He said, not to forsaking the symbols of yourself together. Even as some is. Amen. That's the word. That's the word. Right there. He said, He said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Whoa. Well, I'm telling you tonight, church, the way he set it up is what's right for us. Okay? The world don't see it. But the world's going after their own, ain't they? The world loves their own. They'll do what the world wants to do. They'll sit back and they'll die. Sit back and they'll die in their sin and their pity. And in their doubt. Come on, brother. But us as the true and living church, us as the true, and we can sit around and we can look and we can say, well, I don't believe this one's at the church and I don't believe that one's at the church. If you'd have been at church, you would have heard the message about the wheat and the pears. Come on. Amen. Yes. That's right. I don't care. Tara, sit right beside of me. Yeah. Come on, bro. Sit beside of me, Tara. He said we must grow together. Uh -huh. yeah. Didn't he? That's what yeah. he said. Shout with me, Terry. Yep. Shout with me, Terry. He said we must grow, grow together. together. 
But you know what? There's a separation now. He said, I'll send the reaper. He's going to take his sickle. He ain't uprooting. No. See, they wanted to go out and uproot. Did you notice that now? No. They wanted, do you want us to get ready? He said, no. He said, you'll pull up some. Come on. And they just want to uproot them. Uh -huh. But no, you pull up some of that good weed over there. Yeah. But yeah. there's coming a sickle, buddy. <laughs> there's, there's a separation of the wheat and of the tares. Uh -huh. He said the goats is going to be on his left hand and the sheep is going to be on his right hand on that day. Amen. Yeah. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I believe it. You ever get that vision? Come on, I've had that vision. Of this happen, I believe it. If we believe it, we'll do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. That's from humiliation right on through to being happy. To make sure that we're right with God. We'll do whatever it takes if we love Him. We'll do it for our wives, won't we? Our children. We'll do things. We'll do it. We need to start thinking about God. We need to start thinking about God. Because He has all power. I love each and every one of you. I just, maybe He'll preach His Southern some other time. But He wanted that tonight. And I had to go with Jesus. Amen. If that's all I got to come up here and say was all power, that's why I said it and sat down. That's right. I, I just had to go with Jesus. But I love Him. But you know now. There's all power if you didn't know before. And if you're lost in here, you know now there's somewhere to go that you can receive all power, but there's only one way. There's got to be true repentance. Amen. True repentance. The water hole don't do you no good unless true repentance is there. You can, re you can come to the altar, say, I want baptized. We're taking baptize you. We're doing ours in, in good, good honor and good standing. But if you didn't truly repent, and you don't go for a change in your life, then your baptism didn't work. You can't be saved by baptism alone. He said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission. That's the forgiveness of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. I believe that shall is assured, don't you? I believe that shall is assured. I love you. Let's, let's keep on going for Jesus knowing that we have all power. I got all power. I got the Holy Ghost. I've got all power. Huh, when, I, when I give God slack, that still don't mean He ain't got all power. You know, when I take it, don't stand up for it or I don't speak it out there, God's still got all power. Amen. It's still in there. And He's in our bed and use it, use it, use it, use it, say it, do it. Yes. Lay hands on it. Go to that house. Go to the hospital. Go to the nursing home. He's got all power. He's a business to go. I love you. Y'all pray for me.